Layla was released in 1996. It was directed by Rob Cohen and it stars Sylvester Stallone, Amy Brenneman, a young Viggo Mortensen and Sage Stallone. This disaster film sees a group of passengers trapped inside a New Jersey tunnel after a tanker truck carrying illegal chemicals is crashed into causing an explosion. The tunnel collapses, trapping everybody inside, and it's discovered that the air and oxygen is actually running out. And it is up to a former emergency medical services person called Kit Latura, played by Sylvester Sloan, to help him rescue them. As always, thank you for supporting this channel. Please keep on supporting it. If you are new to this channel for the very first time, hit that subscribe button so you can follow this channel. Hit the alarm bell as well so you can get notifications from me when my video is going to be uploaded and help give this video a like to help the channel grow. Daylight is a homage to the 1970s disaster pics of old, namely The Towering Inferno and The Poseidon Adventure. Daylight is a disaster movie for the 90s generation who were too young to remember those films. From the opening sequence, how the film is actually set up, where we see the introduction of the characters, this is so reminiscent for me of The Towering Inferno, how we see the key players being brought in and how we know who's gonna be involved. Daylight has so many cliches that it's unbelievable. One of the main characters in this film is George, who works as a guard in the tunnel, declares his undying love for his girlfriend, played by Vanessa Bill Calloway. And he says that he has something that he wishes to tell her later. On that basis alone, you know that he's not going to make it. But Daylight is so entertaining because it knows what it is and it doesn't try to be anything else. Thanks to some great set pieces, directed by Rob Cohen, some brilliant visual effects and some great performances, Daylight is certainly formulaic, but at the same time, it is certainly entertaining and you cannot deny that. There's a lot of claustrophobic elements that keep the tension going in terms of water, in terms of rats, in terms of the lights going out, in terms of explosions, in terms of the fear. But Stallone's character, Kit Latoura, keeps everybody unified by saying, we've got to work together. And it's that that keeps the film moving. Rob Cohen handles the film competently. Another favourite film of mine that he directed was Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. And then he would cement his status as an action film director with such films as Triple X and the first Fast and Furious film. Now, I dare you to say that 10 times in a row. Sylvester Stallone asked Kit Latoura, Stallone was 48 when he did this film, and he said that he wasn't gonna do any more action films after this. But he would go on to do such films as Rambo and Expendable films. The character that Stallone played is the same as the character that he played in Cliffhanger, which he released in 1993. And they both have the same traits. They were in a former profession, a tragic accident occurred, they're not in that profession anymore, and now they're doing something else. Kit Latoura worked as the head of an emergency medical services unit, where they would help rescue people. But after some of his men got killed, he's now working as a limo driver. Stallone gave a sympathetic performance as Latoura, and he showed that at 48 years of age, he can still handle action. There was an impressive sequence where he had to jump through some fans that were spinning. And Stallone did most of the stunts for his film. What makes Daylight work so well is the characters and the uniqueness of these characters. We see some felons, with one of them played by Stallone's late son, Sage. We see a couple who are going through their own disagreements at the moment. We see an elderly couple. We see Amy Brenneman, who's trying to leave New York City after her relationship and her life has fallen apart. And these characters all gel together. One of my favourite scenes in the film that still gives me goosebumps is where Stan Shaw's character, George, is accidentally hurt and he's crushed by a car. And all of these passengers that were all afraid to jump in and get involved all come together to help him. That was one of the most heartwarming scenes of the film. Coupled with Randy Elderman's score, which was just beautiful, which captured the hope and the heart of the film, that made that scene even more brilliant. Daylight has a fine supporting cast, from Dan Hedaya, from Amy Brenneman, we see a young Viggo Mortensen as a business tycoon who dies earlier within the film. All of these characters keep the film floating smoothly. Daylight has some spectacular visual effects and utilizes miniatures that still hold to this day. Daylight was released at a time in 1996 where there was a lot of high profile blockbusters that were coming out at that time. And unfortunately, it was overshadowed, but it is still a watchable film. And Daylight inspired a resurgence of the disaster pick in which we saw such films follow like Dante's Peak, Volcano. All of these films owe a debt to Daylight. Daylight is a film that doesn't take itself too seriously. It is a thoroughly entertaining film. It does what it says on the tin and it is a film that flows beautifully from start to finish. 
The teamwork in this film is what makes the film great. Stallone leading these guys to safety, delivering some old school Rocky metaphors in the film, it just helps. And it wouldn't be a film unless there was a pet in danger. And there was a couple's dog that Stallone helps to rescue that is just the cherry on top. So I'll give this film a very strong 7 out of 10. So guys, that's my review. As always, thanks for supporting this channel. Please keep on supporting it. There will be more retro reviews from the year 1996 coming. I want you to hit that subscribe button again so you can follow this channel. Hit the alarm bell as well so you can get notifications from me when my video is going to be uploaded. Give this video a like as well. Have you seen Daylight? What did you think about it? And how do you feel about it 25 years on? Comment down below and I shall see you all on the next film review. Take care.